Whitney's mother was big in the background singing community. That's how Whitney introduced her to oh, me. Oh, okay. My friends, we have a good time. In the book, I lay out the tracks for you. You need to know, Sissy Houston, as Whitney put it, was no joke being paid triple scale. But as you get older and you get wiser, you know, you stop a lot of the kid stuff. Wow. Wow. Many of us had our first kiss at summer camp. Did you guys? First kiss at summer camp? Well, I did, yes, Camp Zender. I had no time to grow up, had no time to party. I didn't even date, my, date in my 20s. Uh, I wasn't doing that. Well, all right, so how did the romance start? As we got further into knowing each other and um, feeling comfortable, you know, like Whitney was like, I'm a singer. It was rough, it was rough in the music business. And um, much later that summer, we were, we, she asked me to walk her to her home, and I did. We just sat back on her sofa on the floor. It was just, it was that time. What time? A time to just get a little closer. It was just like that. Just a, a little, a little closer. Emotionally, I guess I was still connected to her because I could tell while she was away in L.A. that something was happening. You know, did you think how dangerous it was? I could feel it. No, I, wasn't, I wouldn't like shooting heroin or anything. Mm -hmm. It was in a helicopter was flying over the wedding because I'm Wendy on the radio. And I saw the big H in the pool. I saw you all doing your thing and I came back to the radio and talked about it. I want to see the receipts. I had never met Whitney. I had never met her. You I, act I like saw you her. talk like you. you well, that, that's what I do. That would be me. I've only talked to her once, and that was on the radio. And that was that interview. Well? I heard that interview. I got a call from my former assistant. I wasn't working with Whitney. And um, she said, Whitney's gonna be on Wendy Williams. I said, what do you mean she's gonna be on Wendy? Let's turn on the radio. That was a cumulative, fed up Whitney Houston. And- uh, Fed up with me, you're fed up with the world. You have been talking about Whitney and myself for so long. What would I do? And it all came true. It, Come on. It it's in the book. Like a lot of things that I said are in this book. I wanna see the seats. It was a long day's work. We get in the car, the radio is on. We live, but everyone lived by the radio back then. We're in the car. And you're like, you're talking like you live with us, like you're, you're roommates with us. <laughs> we'd be in the car, we'd be sitting still, and Whitney would say, who the, who is she? Who is this woman? I don't even know what she looks like. We were gonna. You were gonna jump me? We were gonna go, we didn't know what you looked like. And, okay. our, and our plan was to go down to Hudson Street and squat like Khalif waiting for you. <laughs> I would have run. You know what? Oh my gosh. We weren't gonna fight. We sh we just wanted to see you face to face and have a chat. <laughs> I'm frightened.